I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Guys, so here, as you guys can see, um, I'm getting some tip from the sound, the editor and the director, because I'm working on a marriage documentary myself. You know, so I thought I might ask for some tips, yeah? So, this is the first time you're here. Yeah. You're doing a documentary on uh, Speaker's Corner? Yeah. What made you guys, why Speaker's Corner? Because, well, look at it, it's a hive of activity, mm. uh, there's conflict, um, it, it feels like it's about to bubble up into violence at any point. It's such an interesting topic. I can, I can make it go into violence if you like. Please. Okay, look, let's, let's plan this out. I'm going to go to one of these guys, give a right hook, but slow motion. Yeah. Yeah. You, you catch you it from there. Slow -mo. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then he will headbutt me. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no you do. Sometimes you do get like scuffles happening. Yeah. yeah. And we've spoken to quite a few of the preachers around. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they're very interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a Muslim. You said to me, why do I come here? Yeah. So I come here because I have. God's sake. All these mats. We have 20 of these. But then we have 20 of these everywhere. So I came here because I came to Islam about eight, nine years ago. Um, and I came to this park because I used to watch it on YouTube. Right. And then when I came here, I saw people having discussions. And a lot of people were saying false things about Islam. And I thought, you know, this is not right. So I would start correcting them. Then I realized I'm a, maybe I'm, I'm natural. It comes natural to me, you know. So from then, that, that day onwards, I've been coming here. And then I started my YouTube channel. So I have a lot of discussion with atheists, agnostics, Christians, Jews, Hindus. You know, I just like to learn from people and learn yeah. from each other. You know, do you guys believe in a creator? Uh, I personally don't. Okay. I think it's a tough question to ask. I think there's something. I don't know what there okay. is. But Agnostic, atheist. I mean, I'm kind of the same as him. Yeah, I'm kind of the same as him. Okay, check this out, yeah? You guys work together to produce something, which is a documentary. You have to come with the directing. You have to come, you make sure you edit it good, yeah? One special sound effects, when the whole shebang. You need to make sure the sound is on point. I will. you're in trouble. We know we can see. Okay. So you see, when doing a documentary, all you guys play a role in that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So what we say as Muslims is that a higher being exists, yeah? Now I'm not going to go to Islam, put Islam to a side, put Christianity, all religions to a side, yeah? We believe that we are all dependent beings, yeah? We depend on water, food, well, the climate to be good as well, you know, the sun is a good distance away, in order for our survival, right? So do you guys not think at one point that, the, look, how we are created, you know, and our universe and how our DNA works, that there must be some kind of a force. Like, let me speak to you because they're a bit yeah. agnostic. Do you not think, like, hold on a second, there must be something behind this? No, I do believe there is something, but I don't believe it's conceivable in the human mind, particularly. Okay. And it's definitely not uh, like a, any kind of a human figure. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's con I don't believe they're conscious. We, 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 okay, I agree with you. Okay. We as Muslims negate the notion that God or this higher being is a human. Yeah. Because if he was human, then he'd be dependent like us. What we say is that a necessary, independent, self-sufficient being has to exist for everything to make sense. Because we are independent, we're not self-sufficient, we rely on other things to survive. And we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. Because we'll never get point one, like to point A. For example, we have Google. Google relies on the internet for its existence. The internet relies on the computer or a laptop or our phones for its existence. Yeah. And that relies on battery or electric, etc. So the, con the chain continues, but there has to be a point where it all stops, which I'll give the analogy of, would we ever have sea and all the uh, animals, um, the creatures in the sea without a seabed? The seabed is the high intelligence, which I said is necessary, self-sufficient and independent. And everything falls back on that, because if we don't have a seabed, we'll never have sea and all the creatures in it. So the seabed is where it all falls back to. Now, you said about something about you don't believe it's conscious. We believe if there is a independent, self-sufficient, necessary being, he must, he must have a will to will for us to come to be. He must have knowledge because those are attributes. For example, when I show you a picture... That's, yeah, that's where I, I differ. Okay. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Yeah. Okay. We look at this image, yeah? And we know that there is a designer behind it. Why? By just looking at the image, I can tell you a few attributes about the designer. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's the same thing. We look at our creation and we say, look, there's knowledge. If there's knowledge, there has to be the one who gives knowledge. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So in a nutshell, look, I don't want to go and give you guys a boring story. You can't be here for a documentary. But that's just in a nutshell. Let me just give you guys some material, maybe. Uh, maybe this one for you. Uh, love of God for you. Um, we had one book. Uh, okay. I'll give this one for you. But what tips would you give me? But you guys said you're new, innit? Yeah, we're going to do Alright, no problem. When will the documentary come out? Uh, end of January. 
Ah, you know my marriage documentary? Yeah. It's supposed to come out seven years ago. Seven, <laughs> seven years ago. Years ago. And that's why when people are watching, they're going to be laughing their head off. Because when you go into my YouTube channel and go in the comment section, the first thing that you see is, when is a marriage documentary coming out? And every year I go, it's coming out in two weeks. And you get people here coming like, oh man, how long is it going to be? But anyways. Have you started putting it together yet? You know what, look, I have. Yeah. I've, I, I went through the first draft with a team and they were, they were like, look, you need some work. So it's a docudrama now. So what it is, there's certain parts that need reenactment. Because, so what we're doing is now we're combining it with the docudrama. So what we're doing is we show real life scenarios that happened in by getting actors and stuff like that, etc. Yeah, yeah. So that's what the stage we're at. But I'm looking at some videos where, you know, um, and, and what I found really interesting in psychology as well is that when you watch these movies, yeah, you know there's a villain, yeah? And you actually hate the villain in real life. And I thought to myself, why doesn't our brain register and say, okay, that's an actor? It's, it's, it's strange, isn't it? That's why I found acting and reenactment is actually very powerful yeah. because people really connect with it. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm working on. But this is our DOP. Yes. Oh, here's the here's the main man. Is this the funder, the multimillionaire? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, um, so what's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Okay. How you doing, Jessica? You're right. Okay. So you are the. Um, uh, what's your job? Director of photography. Oh, photography. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, that's good. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I, I, I didn't see that there. How did I miss that? <laughs> okay, that's nice. So, what camera is this? Oh, he's got the same. Jabby, look, it's the same as yours. Is that the same as yours? You know, he brought his camera. Yeah, it's big. So, anytime he puts it here, people get scared to talk to us because it bloody looks massive. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. Man. I'm really happy for you guys. I'm looking forward to the documentary. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, all the best. If you have any questions, we're here. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Take care. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, so just to make a, just to make a bit of a clarification there. Um, yeah. I, I, no. No offense. Um, I just. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know it was a female, so I shook her hand. Um, but I didn't know. It was a, I didn't. I, I didn't know. So. Obviously, I hope that was clear. I asked, was it, is it Jessica? Is it Jessica? And did she say her name is Jessica? Yeah, yeah no, I, I, yeah, I, I didn't know. But anyways, uh, that's just a clarification. Uh, yeah, something like that. So guys, we are, <laughs> I'm going to build uh, buildings. Vote for me. Vote for me, please. <laughs>